Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that boy blitz him. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Psych the psychic came out. Oh, it's coming out here. Oh, okay. Wow. Ooh. Oh, shit. Hushman, watch out, bitch. Oh, shit. It's time. Everybody, it's time. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's done very clean. <laughs> this is the real boss right here, man. Oh, shit, nah. He's losing it, man. <laughs> no fucking way. No fucking way. Like that? <laughs> oh my god, no, man. Fuck. What? Alright, buddy. So, episode 6 of Bleach, man. This shit was crazy. Obviously, the main two focuses of the episode were Yamamoto and Yuhabaha. And that shit, man, guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing, man. This episode, highly Sakuka level, man. This shit, that has reminded me of. Of season two Demon Slayer, the second last episode, the colors were flashing. Everything was so fast and quick. The colors were vibrant as fuck. This episode was that equivalent to Demon Slayer. The animation, animation was god level, guys. This shit was crazy, man. It was very crazy. It was like it's like I said, it was like a Demon Slayer mix, man. Like it was so fast paced. Like when they, when they were running and everything, the way they were swinging. That shit was crazy, man. That shit was crazy. But anyways, guys. Guys, alright. So, it starts off with, with Uryu. He's reading the book of his grandfather's, the journal that he was doing. That journal he was reading. That he found in Ryukin's room. He was reading it. And then, we see in the cover in the front page. That's obviously Yamamoto. And his bankai activated with the, all the zombies and everything. That's him in the book right there. And then we cut to Yama. You cut back to Yama and... Yama and um, Yuha. Basically, that boy Yama just like blitz. He blitzes um, Yuha to get Kenpachi. And then boom, that boy Kenpachi is safe. That boy is safe. Hey, he's safe, man. And then, that's basically when we get. Um, it's basically a lot of dialogue. And I love it, man. The dialogue was beautiful, it was so clean. It's basically reminiscent of their past. They're just saying, yeah, I was like, so you, huh? I've come to kill you. All that, all that good shit, basically. All that good shit. And then we get straight to the action. Straight to the action. When Yamamoto runs up to him and swings his sword, wow, that shit was clean. That boy, Yuha was like this, with his nose barely about to touch. That shit was clean, guys. I'm telling you. This animation, the Sakuka in this episode was high. This is by far... The best animated episode of all of Bleach's history. All of Bleach's history. Now, whether people want to say it's the best fight in Bleach, that's up for debate. But overall, animation-wise, Sakuga-wise, this was the best animated episode of all of Bleach of all time. Of all time right here. Of all time. We get to see glimpse. We get a, we get a glimpse of, of Hoshwath basically saying, This guy's... This guy's Reatsu? Is it an illusion? Because all the flames all over his body, all over the sedate. He's basically saying, is this an illusion we're seeing? Because there is no way his his spiritual pressure 
of his bankai is this like how how are we able to, like how are we how are we able to see his ratsu and then he comes to the conclusion of this guy is so damn powerful that his ratsu is is you're able to see his ratsu through flames that's how strong this motherfucker is bro that's how strong this motherfucker is. yama is bro his ratsu is visible because that's how strong he is bro his ratsu is flames y'all get what i'm saying right and that shit, man. That boy, yeah. I'm telling you, this episode did not disappoint, man. It did not disappoint. We get, we we wanted high animation. We got that shit right here, man. We got that shit right here, man. We got it right there. And then throughout the fight, obviously we get to see Yama's Bankai, which that shit was amazing. We get to see the skeleton arise. That was done very clean. And throughout this fight, throughout the Yama and Yuha's fight, we get to see glimpses of their previous fight a thousand years ago. A little glimpse of, of their younger selves, basically. And they're just rambling on about and shit, you know? You regular, it's been a thousand years type type shit, fucking dialogue and shit. And yeah, we get to see glimpses of their fights. Like, not not like actual fight, but like like a little hollow version of their younger selves, basically. And that shit, man. It was very clean. And then... And then Yamamoto again to say takes out Yuha. That's what we thought at least, man. That's what we thought at least. And we could see it is one of the Stern Raiders. He's basically saying, Majesty, I am sorry that I failed. And basically Yama turns around and instantly he's shocked. He's like, Well what are you talking about, bro? You you're the main boss. You're the main you're the majesty. You're Yuha himself. And the Stern Raiders are like, I'm sorry, Master, I I couldn't do it. And then that's when that's when we get Yuha come out of nowhere, man. Out of nowhere. Right behind Yamamoto. We get to see a beautiful a beautiful panel of of um Yama facing forward and then Yuha right behind him, which is Ta. Which that's like from a writing wise, that's very nicely because that's saying that Yama, that boy has lost it. He's down here. And Yuha, he's up here now. So it's a tie, the battle has changed. The tide has changed. The battle has changed, man. And then we could see the dialogue between them. He was saying, Yuha was saying that that's one of my stern raiders. He like, yeah, that, that was one of his stern raiders basically. And he was telling him what he was doing. He went to go see Aizen Sosuke. Aizen Sosuke. He went to go see him. the basement, a barracks one. And he we see Aizen for the first time ever since the last, the last two arcs of Bleach. And that was fun to see Aizen. He Aizen already knew he was Yuha. He was like Yuha Buck. He knew he was he knew he was Yuha. And he, basically Yuha went to go offer him a deal to join my crew, join join me, so we could take down Soul Society together. Cause Eis, cause Yuha sees Aizen as a special threat. And I like how throughout throughout each episode we're seeing that we're getting reference references of special threats. We get one of Ichigo, special threat. Yama is obviously a special threat. Now we get to see Aizen as a special threat. So we're seeing that... We're seeing that even though the captains are very strong in themselves, not each, not each captain is a special threat. There are certain people that are special threats. And we know that Ichigo is a special threat because they can't steal his Bankai. So automatically he's a special threat right there. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, guys. We get to see Aizen... Then we cut back. We cut back to Yama and Yuha, and basically, man. Basically, man. <sighs> Yama runs up to him. He's like, "Ah, oh, my fucker stole my bunk. I fucked up. I just gotta, I just gotta blitz him, basically." And then Yuha with his new, with his new sword, with his Rish sword, blue. It looks sick. He basically. Yama is like at this point, he doesn't know what to do, man. He has no bankai. He's up against the real Yuha, which already stole his bankai. And basically, guys, he had a beautiful panel of Yama just standing still, and he gets sliced with Yuha's new sword, and that's where it left off. And the next episode, guys, next episode, man, it's gonna be so good too. Bro, Bleach is really up, bro. Oh my god, Bleach is so good right now, man. And it was crazy, man. 
that was the episode, man. It was very godly. Very godly. Like, the Sakuga was 10 out of 10. The best episode animate a- animation-wise, the best episode of all time of Bleach right here. Animation was godly, man. It was so good, man. It was really good, man. Yeah, man. But I don't know what else to say. That's basically the review of the episode. The review right there, man. But anyways, guys, take care, man. See ya. See ya next week.